Okay. Haven't done this in a while. Worked on these a while back. Thought I'd update them. Let's talk dangers. All right, guys. So about two years ago, I think two years ago now, I designed, I think, three different danger monsters that were homebrew custom cards based off of the, uh, you know, initial cryptids that I really liked. And so I thought I would show you guys now the whole shebang. I made a bunch more during that time. And so I thought I'd show you the ones that I've updated as well as brand new ones. And we'll start that off with Danger Jersey Devil. Danger Jersey Devil is a 1900 attack, 1300 defense, level 5 fiend that has a standard danger effect where you can reveal it in your hand, your opponent randomly chooses a card from it, and then you discard the card they choose, and then if it wasn't Danger Jersey Devil, you get the special summon Jersey Devil. And if you do, you draw a card. Uh, it says, if this card is discarded, special summon this card, and if you do, inflict 800 damage to your opponent, then you gain 800 life, 800 life points. So in essence, this card is Suchinoko plus a little bit of burn in time. Yeah, I thought that was good enough. <laughs> and of course, you can only use this effect once per turn. The concept of the Jersey Devil is an angry, bat-winged monster that seems to feast on creatures, and it carries a curse with it in a way. And it's this terrifying, uh, triangle-forked creature, and I found a really good-looking picture for it, and I was like, oh my gosh, we absolutely gotta put this on here. So, yeah, that's Jersey Devil for you. Uh, the next one up is the Danger Flat Flatwoods Monster. It is a level 6 psychic monster that's 1800 attack and 2000 defense. It has the standard danger effect. Uh, then, if this card is discarded, special summon one Danger Echo Token, which is a psychic dark level 6, 0 attack, 0 defense in defense position. It cannot be tributed for a tribute summon and cannot be used as a material for a fusion, synchro, or link summon, except for the summon of a danger monster. And then you can only use this effect once per turn. I created several cards in here that kind of tried to create a new system of playing the danger deck because each one of these danger monsters is representing a cryptid that has its own unique history. And the Flatwoods monster is some sort of strange, otherworldly, almost alien creature. And I really wanted to give that sort of idea of, are you seeing the real thing? Are you seeing just an illusion or an echo? So I thought... Uh, creating a token generator, once per turn token maker, would be really cool. And of course you can't use uh, it for an Xyz summon, mind you, because it's a token, so I didn't have to write Xyz summon in the text. Uh, what was the next one I was going to do? Oh yeah, Danger Deathworm. So Danger Deathworm is a, a Dark Aqua 2600 attack, 1000 defense monster who, I love this card, it's based off the Mongolian Deathworm. The idea is this is a giant sandworm that could spit poison and kill you from afar, and it's this terrifying thing that people have thought was a real thing for years. And uh, it has a standard danger effect of if it's discarded, special summon it, or, yeah, if, if, sorry, if you reveal, blah, blah, blah. But its effect is if it's discarded, uh, you banish a card on the field face down. And it is not, it is not optional. If Deathworm hits the grave, it banishes something face down. So if it's the card in your hand and you get rid of it and you have to have, you're the only thing with, you're one of the only one with something on the field, you have to banish something face down. So I thought that was a really cool concept of the death run being this like representation of, I guess what I would describe as, you know, unbridled aggression against all individuals. And so I, I created it being a mandatory effect, number one, and just went from there. I, I really had a lot of fun designing how I would go about making it. And, uh, yeah, this guy is definitely one of my favorites. Also, the fact that it is a dark aqua sandworm. I thought that was funny. Yeah, just me doing my thing. Uh, then we have four brand new main deck monsters and two extra deck monsters. So we'll start off with Danger Yeti. Danger Yeti is what I wished they would have done with that Yeti artwork for Danger Bigfoot. Um, standard effect of a danger monster. Then, if this card is discarded, neither player can activate the effects of face-up cards on the field until the end of the current phase. So the idea is, it's a super dark ruler no more for those types of effects. So if it's ditched, then you can summon all your dudes out, and nothing can activate until you enter into the battle phase. So I thought that was a pretty crazy thing. The idea is, he lives in this icy, frigid environment, so he himself hitting the border, going to the grave, is a cold wave type effect. I thought that would be a really interesting way to go about it. 
Uh, then we have Danger Mokele Mbembe. I apologize if I'm butchering that at all. But uh, Mokele Mbembe is a uh, Southern African or Central African cryptid that a lot of people describe as like this sort of Brachiosaurus or like Brontosaurus creature. Long, long neck, long tail, and it lives in the swamp. And it's this cr crazy thing. And so I found a really nice picture for it. I thought it was cool. And so uh, Mokele Mbembe is a dark dinosaur with 3,000 defense and 1,000 attack. And if it's discarded, change all face-up monsters' battle positions, then destroy all monsters in attack mode. I thought that would really be cool, because it would be like, oh, everything that goes to defense goes to attack, and everything that goes to attack goes to defense, and then it nukes everything else. So Mokele Mbembe is this, like, big rampaging monster that comes through and just decimates things. I thought that was a really cool concept, and the idea of creating another level 8 really makes me happy, because I like the, the danger level 8s. Uh, then we have Danger Bunyip. The Bunyip is a mysterious creature that, like, a lot of people can totally, like, jump back and forth from in terms of their description of it. Some individuals think of it almost like an aquatic, uh, like a semi-aquatic marsupial, which is super crazy to think about. Um, but I designed it as some sort of weird swamp dragon, like furry swamp dragon, almost like the uh, a certain SCP that's a hard-to-kill reptile. Uh, if Bunyip is discarded... Uh, you get to summon a danger from your hand, and then its attack is doubled until the end phase. So if you ditch Bunyip, and it hits the grave, you're like, Oh, well, uh, I'm going to use its effect, special summon Bigfoot, Yeti, or any of those guys, and now they're 6,000 attack! I thought that would be really cool. Um, Bunyip is also, uh, like, the I think the first dragon among the danger monsters that I've designed so far. And that's just for the purpose of it being kind of like this mysterious creature. And, uh, yeah, uh, this one's pretty, pretty strong, can be pretty de decimating. But yeah, uh, we'll go to the next one. And then this is Danger Ningen. Uh, Ningen is one of the good ones. Uh, I designed it as a dark worm monster. It's a level 5, and it's got 1,900 defense and 1,000 attack. Standard danger effect on uh, revealing, but its effect is, if this card is discarded, neither player can conduct their battle phase until the next turn's end phase. So the idea of the Ningen is some sort of strange northernmost aquatic creature with almost pale white skin and a human-like appearance. And why I mean human-like, I mean it has vaguely human appearance. In, in Japanese, Ningen means human. So when they say, oh, it's a Ningen, they, they, they're actually almost kind of being sarcastic because they're like these almost like elephantine, or not elephantine, uh, whale-like uh, skin. And then they, 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 they throw a white, pale, complected creatures. And they seem to have these massive white arms that reach out into the air or into the water and it's just this crazy concept and I thought making a one day of peace for this thing of people down in the depths bearing witness to a Ningen neither player can attack because they're so terrified but the Ningen itself isn't evil right the Ningen itself is supposed to be one of the kind of nice danger monsters and, and uh, akin to like uh, Jackalope and Tsuchinoko so I thought you know make him part of that theme and so that's the final main deck monster. We actually have two extra deck monsters I designed as well. So we actually redid Danger Wendigo into an Xyz monster. He is a dark zombie Xyz monster with a thousand attack and a thousand defense at base. And he requires two or more level eight monsters, including one danger monster. I originally was going to have the concept of a danger monster that could take control of an opponent's monster and treat it as a danger for the summit of a card. But at this point, I was like, eh, just make it level 8. We have a ton of level 8s to mess with, so we can go from there. Ogopogo and the new ones I made, plus Thunderbird uh, and Bigfoot. There's plenty, right? Uh, this card cannot be used as material for an Xyz summon. The turn it was Xyz summon. It just means that you can't stack Wendigos on top of Wendigos, poke with them, and then go into Zeus. Um, car uh, gains 1,000 attack for each material attached to it. If you would discard a danger monster, you can activate this effect. Destroy one card your opponent controls, and if you do, attach the destroyed card to this card as material. Uh, you can only use this effect of Wendigo once per turn. While this card has 4,000 attack or higher, this Xyz summon monster cannot be destroyed by card effects and cannot be targeted by effects except by danger card effects. So the idea is, the first destruction it bears witness to, it goes up to its 4,000 point and becomes really hard to kill. But anyone else playing Dangers could theoretically just Bigfoot pop it and immediately get it nuked out, which is really funny. I thought that would be a thing of, like, kind of a balancing act. If you play Dangers, you can beat their Wendigo really relatively simply. And so I introduced that as the kind of, like, a foil to its effect. 
Um, initially, Wendigo had all these crazy effects where if it was in the graveyard, you discard dangers and you could resurrect it from the graveyard. But I thought a ravenous zombie-like beast like Wendigo should be able to consume whatever it ha uh, whatever uh, weirdness comes around it. The idea is when a danger is revealed and discards itself, or a danger uh, activates or is discarded, you can go completely crazy for that. I would say overall, you would just want to go and make this guy and have it be as most like like themed for being this like I guess just constantly growing in strength monster. This guy can get ridiculously big really fast, and I actually don't really mind that. Uh, next up, you guys, we have Danger Kraken. Danger Kraken is a Link Three Fish Dark monster with 2,200 attack. And it requires two or more effect monsters, including one special summoned danger monster. So you're going to have to get a danger monster effect off first. A monster this card points to cannot attack or change their battle positions, except danger monsters. If a danger monster is discarded, you can add one danger spell or trap card from your deck to your hand, and then you discard one card. And then you can discard one card. Uh, you can only use this effect of Danger Kraken once per turn. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to the effects of danger cards, as long as this card points to a danger monster. So previously when I was developing this, I wrote that specific line of text before I was designed any of the other things for this card. And I mainly wanted to make it so that you could have a danger monster where if it's special summoned, it will go to your opponent's side of the field and then have a disruption effect while it's doing so. So that the danger monster would, might even be on your side in that way. So I was, I was just thinking like something itty bitty that would be like, you know, kind of a, a little freak out moment. And then you can have it targeting this card and junk like that. But then... Over time, I realized maybe I could just make it so that your danger effects couldn't just be constantly spam negated by cards, and so we created Danger Kraken. Uh, Kraken exists as a Link 3, mostly because I was initially going to make him a, a Link 3 and have all arrows pointing up, but making it so that you could still summon a danger into a zone it points to, aka Wendigo, you could theoretically have Wendigo right there, Kraken right there, and just start getting your boys going, and getting your combos going. This also enables you to use the danger spells and traps. And the danger spells and traps, they're just kind of hard to convince yourself to want to play. But if you add all of these new cards into this kind of foil and how you would deck build uh, just by processing with like Kraken and Leviathan and whatnot, you'll see, oh man, I can actually run Danger Zone. I can actually run the field spell if I really wanted to. Because all I need to do now is play pure dangers. And so, you know, that's that's it though, guys. That's there's there's the full list of danger monsters that I worked on. So uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think uh, on in terms of danger monsters, cryptids that you like that you would love to see into the game, uh, based off of what you observed uh, when you saw all these guys. Did you think I did an okay job with uh, the spirit of the creatures' effects? Did it make sense for how they would function in terms of gameplay? Did they seem a little too strong? or maybe a little too weak, perhaps? I want to hear your thoughts about it, guys, so post in the comments. I definitely want to see more. I, I love making these things. Uh, I actually designed these, I think, a year and a half ago, so it's been a while, but I thought I'd do this one first. You know, I love I love cryptids. I love, like, all that weird goofiness that you see the History Channel ranting about right now. <laughs> and um, it's just fun to talk about, fun to goof off about. And uh, I, I love to, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. What ones would you like to see that you, you think were missing? Because I had a good list of, of some pretty solid cryptids that uh, I wanted to put on here, but I didn't do them yet. But uh, yeah, that wraps it up, guys. Uh, I guess I'll see you all later. This is Mystic V, and I'm signing off. Mm -hmm.